UD2300 LP through the UD2600. And the Allison 2500 RDS is used in the UD3300. All UD medium duty trucks with Allison transmissions come standard with Transcend and Extended Life Transmission Fluid. This is usually an additional $500 from most competitive dealers. This standard feature qualifies our trucks for the Allison ETC or extended transmission coverage. This is a great selling feature that gives your customer peace of mind in their purchase of a UD truck. The standard manual overdrive transmissions on UD truck models UD 1800 HD through the UD 3300 are equipped with six forward gears. The sixth gear is an overdrive for increased fuel economy. All Nissan diesel manual transmissions are equipped with a clutch wear indicator. This unique feature is not found on most of our competitors. It utilizes a very simple point and guide indicator which is clearly marked set or new and min for minimum positions. A technician or driver can easily and quickly visualize the necessary clutch adjustment by simply looking at the wear indicator from under the truck. This can help the operator schedule the downtime rather than going down unexpectedly. Depending on your customer's truck application, you may want to mention the capability of the power takeoff or PTO unit. This would include mounting a dash mounted PTO switch that illuminates when the PTO is engaged. A PTO is often used to generate power to auxiliary equipment for specialized applications. As you can see here, between the oil and transmission dipsticks, the power steering fluid reservoir is also an easily performed site inspection with a simple twist of the cap. For obvious safety reasons, it is of high importance for your customer to include this when checking the fluid levels of routine inspections. Now, point out the underbody insulation and explain how it will not only reduce the transfer of engine heat, but it also insulates the cab from any exterior road noise. At this point, lower the cab into the closed position. While removing the safety pin and lowering the cab, Make note of the attention to detail of the belly band. The belly band further strengthens the rigidity of the frame rail and reduces the twisting motion created by the torque of the driveline. This attention to detail increases the useful life of UD trucks with less wear and tear on the frame as well as creates a smooth ride and ultimately increases driver comfort. Increased driver comfort is also a good reason to point out the UD truck's unique dual cab suspension design. As you can see, the cab is supported first by a heavy-duty leaf spring for horizontal resistance to road shock and reinforced with dual shock absorbers on either side. As you see, this unique design creates a smooth ride for the ultimate in driver comfort. Next, just behind the cab, observe the watertight fuse box which houses the fusible links. These fusible links protect the electrical system from power surges and avoid any costly electrical damage. The fusible links can also be accessed easily for additional power supply. This is typically done by a body company when unique electrical applications are needed. Just past the fusible link box, you'll find the battery box containing two heavy-duty batteries. The battery box cover can easily be removed by releasing the four spring steel retainers for easy inspection of the batteries. Further down the frame rail, you will notice the heated fuel filter. This features a clear sediment bowl which will collect heavy particles from the fuel supply as well as collect any moisture from condensation that may collect in the fuel tank. As you know, water is one of the most damaging elements to a diesel engine. This should be included in your customer's routine inspection so when appropriate, he or she can simply unscrew the drain plug at the bottom of the bowl until it runs clean, then retighten the drain plug. The fuel filter also contains a heating element for warmer fuel temperatures and cooler weather. A primer is also positioned at the top of the filter to assist in restarting operations if the vehicle ever loses its fuel supply from the suction pump. This is also a great time to further point out our attention to detail by showing your customers the in-frame grommets used in UD trucks. These grommets eliminate any contact between wiring and the frame in order to prevent friction wear, increasing the long-term durability of UD trucks. UD medium-duty trucks feature a heavy-duty cylindrical steel fuel tank. These frame-mounted fuel tanks have a capacity of 50 gallons. 
or you can order an additional 50 gallon port installed auxiliary tank for mounting on the opposite side of the chassis for long distance carriers. As you move to the rear of the chassis, point out the design quality in the rear suspension. UD trucks utilize a heavy duty Shacklin pin design which includes a lube fitting for greasing this assembly. This reduces the friction wear and promotes longer, worry-free operation. Next, behind the rear axle, you should point out the safety feature of the rear wheel park brake, which locks the rear wheels into place to prevent any back and forth rocking motion of the truck while loading and unloading in the park position. Though this is an optional feature, customers realize the safety benefits as well as a reduction in wear and tear. It has become such a popular safety feature, almost all dealers include it on their standard stock orders, and all Nissan Diesel America's non-ordered port ready inventory includes this option. From the rear of the chassis, you may want to mention the industry leading frame strength and full ladder style cross members. The frame is a yield strength of 51,200 PSI and a resistance to bending moments or RBMs of about 1 million inch pounds depending on the frame length. As you make the turn at the rear of the chassis, you will find the backup alarm on the passenger side frame rail. This standard safety feature is activated when the truck is in the reverse position to warn anyone whom the driver might not be able to see as he is reversing the truck. Now on the passenger side of the chassis, you should point out the brake inspection port found on the inside of all four of the interior wheels. This inspection can be done by simply removing the inspection port plug shining a flashlight onto the braking surface to determine the level of wear. Also from the rear wheel position, you can see the ABS module, which with other components monitors the rotational speed of all wheels based on a signal received from the four wheel sensors to equalize the braking force between all wheels. Nissan Diesel shows its commitment to money saving design features by offering an exhaust brake as standard equipment. This feature is easy to operate with a fingertip lever on the right side of the steering column. Operation of the lever partially closes a butterfly valve in the exhaust pipe, restricting the flow of exhaust and brakes the engine as the operator releases the fuel pedal. This feature extends the usable brake life when utilized properly by the driver in city and highway driving. Similar design idea is found in Class 8 trucks to extend the brake life. Point out that many competitors do not offer this money saving device even as an option. Next, you will come to the air compressor for the air over hydraulic dual braking system. The front and rear brakes have separate air reservoirs, air boosters, and hydraulic cylinders. The air compressor draws fresh air from the engine air intake system and pumps it through a standard air dryer on its way to the supply tank. Air flowing from the air dryer to the primary reservoir has a low relative humidity which reduces the need for frequent draining of the air tanks. This improves reliability and reduces maintenance. You can also see a clear brake fluid reservoir for easy inspection and fill. Just behind the cab you will notice the air intake system. The air intake system consists of the air intake snorkel and the air filter canister. The snorkel is mounted in a high position and incorporates a screen over the intake port. Air is drawn through the snorkel into the air cleaner canister. The air filter is an 11 inch element where dust particles and water, which have a higher greater specific gravity than air, are removed by centrifugal force and are discharged at the bottom of the filter. Notice the external restriction indicator for inspection. This reminder will indicate whether or not the engine is receiving adequate airflow. If it indicates that the air is restricted, the air filter is in need of service. Just behind the passenger bumper, Notice the air conditioning evaporator coil. In this location, it receives excellent airflow for maximum efficiency for more effective cooling in warmer climates. As you guide your customer around the side of the cab, you can point out the visibility benefits of UD Truck's panoramic 